Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll be finishing the body of Gule from Street Fighter. If you guys are watching from the head we have finished, in this video, we'll be finishing his body, all right? So what I have planned, I'm gonna be making this character like for rigging purpose, all right? I'm gonna be doing retopology and rigging all, all those like I'm gonna finish all those things, but not in this video. In this video, just we're gonna finishing working on the body. All right. So we will be having a body and the shoes and the pants, as well as his shadow, right? So what are we gonna do in this? We'll be having a sphere for the body, roughly give a shape. No need to add details at the first. We will working on step by step, slow. And what I have planned, like I'll be going with the sphere for the body. Then I'm going to be adding one more sphere for the hand. And this time it's not going to be as the reference. It's going to be in a T-pose. It will be easy for rigging as well as for the retopology, right? So if guys wanted to like if anyone if any one of you wanted to make same character or any other character for that matter and do the same things like a rigging and retopology then so we have uh, better tools to work with the retopology and as well as for the rigging i don't feel like it's it's gonna be a problem first you guys need to know how to make a character then you guys can use those tools to make your rigging and retopology. So that's my plan. Let's see. In this video, I'll be working completely on the body. All right. And as well as good for the pants and the shoes. Right. But in the next video, I'll be adding textures for the face and body as well as for the pants for the center. Like I'm gonna be working on the textures, not like a painting. I'm gonna be working on the alphas, like um, the detail for the te alphas, like uh, for the kind of uh, like uh, texture for the jeans texture for the skin texture. All those things I'm gonna be working on next video. So stay tuned. If you guys are working with me, like uh, step by step, like falling, much better. If you guys wanted to use your own methods if you need any kind of uh, tips or something new if you guys wanted to work on if you have any problem just let me know i'll try to fix it for you all right so for the hand what i wanted to do i didn't want to have a normal pose like uh, i don't want even i don't want the asymmetrical leg pose like a uh, asymmetry pose i want it into a t pose there is a reason because when you make an A pose, right, you'll be stuck with the that um, that geometry. You don't have the under armpits. You don't have that mesh to work with, or the shoulders. You don't have that mesh to work with even, right? So what I have planned, like I'm gonna be working on T pose. If you guys wanted to work on game, or if you guys wanted to make for your animation. This can help you really nicely. So let's see how it works. For the hand, what I did, I just divided it into three polygroups. With that, I can isolate any part and I can work with it. So the plan was to keep uh, four arms into one like polygroup and the biceps into one polygroup and for the shoulders, same one polygroup. And whenever you guys are working, you can easily communicate, like um, manage it, right? So that's the plan. Let's see how does it work. And I'm gonna be keeping fairly low geometry, like uh, for a long time. Even though if I wanted to go for higher subdivisions, I'll keep like uh, original on lowest polygroup sorry uh, subdivisions 
So whenever I need to work on that or edit something or manipulate the mesh towards something else, I can easily do it. Guys, you can use this uh, like a reference or you guys can use any reference, whatever makes you sculpt much better. Do those, right? You don't have to be stuck with one or two. So basically what I want here, I just want you to guys have a reference as much as you can and those reference will be helping you for block outs, for details, for whatever you guys are working on, right? And one more thing I want to share you guys with, as you can see in, in this video, I have a different UI have set in here and this reference, <clears throat> sorry, this UI is uh, going to be on my Patreon, alright? But for now, I'm gonna be keeping on like uh, open whoever wants it and just just let me know. I'll share with you guys. All right. And with this UI, I'm keeping it fairly low on the real estate. Mostly it's gonna be on my hotkeys. Basically, whenever I need my brushes, I can press button and I'll have brushes on my screen wherever is my cursor is at that time. All right. Same goes for the uh, like uh, Z, uh, Z uh, remesher, boolean, and polygroups. All those options what we use mostly. I'm gonna be keeping on what I use mostly. I'm gonna be keeping on another like hockey. So whenever you guys are like working on, you guys can have for brushes a different and for the other operations like a brilliant operation or like a Z remesher or something like that if you guys want to work on it's quite easy to work with that right so whoever wants it just do let me know I'm gonna be sharing that soon and I'm gonna be adding more like options into that all right so all right what I have done here right now I have worked on the hand all right and I'm just gonna place it and I'm gonna check how it's gonna look once I am done with the complete rigging as well right so this is a test what I keep all right it, it looks good it looks good enough all right just need a little bit to up here and there once I'm done with that all right I want to let you guys know that you don't have to work on details now you don't it's up to you actually if you want it to work you can if you don't want it's up to you it doesn't have to be second thing i want to like uh, inform you that guys guys for the pelvis what i do i add sphere and i just give a little bit detail not that much just to make out that it's a it's a part of the body all right then I add cylinder for the legs and legs height should be similar to the from the head till the pelvis all right if you have that height you are good to go for the legs all right I will show you when I'm gonna work on that and since we have the um, we have to work on the back as well S still it's not gonna be visible when we are done with the model itself so it's fine it doesn't have to be so much detail or it doesn't have to be like um, very low it's fine it's up to you basically all right since uh, the uh, body shape it's going to be visible through his um, sando so what I have thought like it should be a, it should be a better idea to give a detail right now since we're gonna extrude some mesh for the sando from the body itself right so that's a good idea that's a good technique actually so yeah if you guys can work this way or you guys can add complete a new sub tool for the sando itself you do you all right this is the head the height for the legs it should be similar to the body as I said you like uh, from the head to the 
pelvis, right? Here I'm just giving a little bit detail for the shoulders area. All right. Still doesn't look good. I know I'm gonna be working on that later on. So that's fine for now. Alright, you guys might be thinking why am I making legs shape when he is wearing a pants? Yeah, for that, that is the reason, like, uh, there is a reason why I have done that way. Because I don't want to have, I don't want to add, like, um, keep everything in one. First, I have thought, like, I will be making legs, then I'm gonna be adding pants on top of it then i felt like no it's not a good idea since we're gonna be having this character for animation or maybe for game if someone wants to like uh, you know uh, for gaming model so what i have thought like uh, for gaming model it doesn't have to be on extra like parts so first what i wanted to do i went like um, for the leg the original plan for that was like I'm gonna be adding pant on the leg, all right? Then I felt like no, it's not a good idea. Then I went with the I'm gonna be giving a shape of the leg first. Then I'm gonna be reshaping the leg to the pant shape, all right? I hope that makes sense to you guys. But I don't know what I was thinking. I went with this idea, all right? And then it was fine. It was fine. And guys, if you like my content, you guys can go on Instagram. So follow me. That helps me to grow. And guys, on YouTube, I can see guys 70% or 68% people are just watching are non-subscribers. If you watch these videos and you, if you have any benefit from this, Consider subscribing, it helps me to grow. And if you like these videos, please do hit the like button. And if you are new in this channel, uh, guys, subscribe. It will be daily videos, there will be. And if you have any questions, you can like ask me, I can help you with it. And don't forget to hit the bell icon, all right? So for the shoes, it's gonna be same technique, but um, till the end, we're not gonna have any detail. Mostly we'll be keeping the shoes on lowest, the model, all right? Once we are done with the shoes, like for the body, I mean, once we are done with the body, we can work on the shoes. And on the shoes, we're not gonna add like tremendous amount of the detail. So we're gonna just keep it low, fairly low, all right? Then once we are completely done with the model itself we're gonna make it rich topology before that we're gonna add details for the clothing or the shoes like um, he gonna be wearing dog tags i'm gonna add those things the tattoo all those things we're gonna add at the end so yeah next video i'll be working on same character but we'll be working on alphas because i'm gonna be giving textures for the skin and for the stitches for the pants and for the sando then we'll see what we're gonna be working on next
details like move the mesh and see how does it look if this if it looks good enough keep it if you don't feel like it's not good enough change a little bit here and then you'll find the sweet spot All right so yeah do that and see Alright guys, I don't wanna like uh, brag about anything else, I just wanna you guys to watch this, enjoy and if you have any doubt or any question, do hit the comment box below and I'll be answering those questions and about the hand or if you guys like this hand, um, do let me know, I'll make a video on that as well if you wanted to, since uh, YouTube have enough videos for the hands and all you guys can watch those or if you want to know how i do i'll share with you guys as well all right so see you next video meanwhile just enjoy the whole video Thank you. 